Whiskey Jason here, whiskey from the view viewpoint of an American in Germany tasting rare and exotic whiskeys. Today I'm in Ireland. The Whistler, PX I Love You, not PS, PX I Love You, Pedro Jimenez. Triple distilled, single malt, very, very good. Matured in bourbon barrels and finished in PX Sherry casks. Product of Ireland, 46%. Natural color, no non-chilled filtered, very, very good. So over here in Europe, I'm paying about 43, 44 euros for this. So let's say about 45, um, I'm sorry, about $55 if it makes it to the States, who knows. Um, this was actually one of the biggest hits um, during the Bowen Distillery um, live show at during the Belfast Whiskey Week. So a lot of people are really looking forward to this, the PX I Love You. So um, the one thing I have to complain about it, if you look at the website here from the Whistler, Bowen Distilleries, you go to the website, you find the new distilleries. It was a trilogy. You had the Bodego cask, which I did not like, and I did not do a video about that in English. You had here the um, the double oaked, which I, um, now nah, I didn't like it that much either, but I didn't hate it like I did the Bodega cask. I did a video about this. Um, you will see that this says um, matured for six, at least nine months in Pedro Jimenez, PX cask, blah, 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 comma, at least six months in Pedro Jimenez, PX. It's either nine or six months, so hmm, make up your mind, guys. So I'm going to go with at least six months. It's very, t if you if you have a website and it's the same sentence, once nine months and once six months, someone should be reading this and going, hmm, I think we need to change this. All right, so it was in ex bourbon casks, and now it's in Pedro Jimenez casks for at least six months. What I'm going to do is I'm going to compare it to an Irish whiskey as well in a sherry cask. Even though this is a single malt, um, there is one big difference. This is 49.5% alcohol by volume. This is around 65 euros. This is around 45 euros. So this is a bottle which is about 20 euros more expensive. Both of these are non-age statements. This only says sherry casks. It does not say Pedro Jimenez on it. All right, so on the nose. Wow. Um, this is a massive, massive sherry bomb, if you'd like to say that. All right, in the back, you have an interesting um, label design. You have the heart there, and you have it crossed out, and it says, I just want to read this here, born of Irish heart, comma, held firm and pierced by the soul of American and Spanish oaks. Oaks. Oak casks, but oaks with an S? I'm not sure about that either. So, um, matured in American bourbon barrels, finished in Spanish PX sherry casks. I love the name, by the way. Very, very tough. PX, I love you. Well done. A tip of the hat in respect. So, distilled, matured, and bottled on Irish soil. I just love saying on Irish soil. Not in Dublin, not in Belfast. Well, okay. Not in the um, County Meath. Meet where that actually is, um, but rather on Irish soil. Um, Bowen Distillery, they have just produced their first couple of barrels, um, first 100 barrels. It's going to be another three years before they can actually um, sell any Irish whiskey because it has to be three years old. And so this is sourced. The uh, Pedro Jimenez casks are sourced as well as the, the distillate, the spirit I Pedro Jimenez. It's very, very, very sherry, sherry, sherry heavy. I've actually bought a bottle of a 30-year-old, a 20-year-old, and two other um, Pedro Jimenez sherries just to get a feel for that. This, for me, is a um, not a whiskey with a sherry finish. It's a sherry with a whiskey finish. I hope you get what I'm trying to say. Some people say, would you like some milk with your coffee? Or would you like some coffee with your milk? <laughs> I have some guys who are like 20% coffee, 80% milk, and that's what I'm getting here. I'm getting 80%. Um, it's not true. I'm getting 80% of the flavor profile of Pedro Ramones and 20% of the Irish whiskey that was originally used here. That is true with the flavor profile. Cheers. Mm-hmm. Fairly dry. Estrogens. 
pulling out all the saliva from my cheeks. And then that, oh, wow, that, that Pedro Jimenez, cherry wood, really kicks in here. Now, um, the name is Program. It says, PX, I love you. Now, if you love Pedro Jimenez, um, this is going to be your bottle. If you're not a great fan of the Pedro Jimenez, steer away from this one. <laughs> because that's all I'm getting. I'm getting a little bit more of a high volume, a high ABV Pedro Jimenez. We've added some whiskey to our sherry, not our, not our finish of our whiskey in sherry. Good, no problem. I'm going over to the Brabazon. The nose is much more of a along the lines that I'm used to. There's a whiskey and there's a no not a hint, there's a nice supporting roll of the sherry. I'm not sure that it's Pedro Jimenez though. Mm -hmm. Somewhat sweeter. Um, the extra 3.5% um, ABV really helps here. And you have the whiskey and you have a supporting a supporting role of the, of the sherry here. Nice. Exactly how I prefer it. Now, if you're um, someone who prefers this instead, go for it. I'm going to give this a solid C because it's exactly what it said it is. PX, I love you. Um, many people like this. Some people are like, ooh, ah, at least I was. It's a little bit too much for me, but that's the way it is at the moment. Um, there's quite a few bottlings out there at the moment with first fill sherry, and they people just love them. People are like, oh, this is the best whiskey, a single malt I've ever had. And it's like, but that's not single malt. It's sherry, 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 and a little bit of whiskey towards the end. Hey, who cares? If people love it, it's being sold. Um, great, great marketing, great design, great um, bottling name. Well done there. Value for money, I think the price is right. Um, 43, 45 euros over here in um, Germany, which we transferred to about 40, um, 49 maybe pounds over in, the, in, in Great Britain. Who knows? Because the sales tax and exercise tax. Might go up to $65 over in the States, um, to be honest. Even for that price, if you want that bottle as it is, go for it. It's a great, great, great um, example of what a um, very um, active and a very, very um, strong PX finish can look like. I'm sure that those barrels were not washed out before we put in the, the spirit. These, pair, these bottles, um, sorry, these PX barrels maybe had a little bit of transport PX in there, maybe five liters or so in a 250-liter um, hogshead, and they just left it in there and poured in the, poured in the whiskey and said, ta-da! <laughs> this is what we want. Could be. Who knows? All right. Whiskey Jason here. Whiskey from the viewpoint of an American in Germany. My question of the day is, what is your favorite Irish whiskey with a Pedro Jimenez um, finish or a maturation? If that's too difficult to um, to answer, please tell me a sherry um, whiskey that you like. Anything from anywhere in the world. That'd be very good. You can always contact me at whiskeyjason, uh, dot, um, whiskeyjason at gmail.com. And we always have videos here um, talking about new, excite, exciting, um, usually exotic and rare whiskeys you can't find anywhere else. I think this will be a new bottling here, so it might come out to the UK, to the States, to other places in Europe, and also maybe even um, you, um, Australia, who knows, and so we'll see how the distribution looks like. Thank you very much for watching. Like, share, tell others, and thank you very much for also commenting. Bye-bye.